Oakland. What kind of character traits do you feel like Oakland gave you to help you endure all the adversity we found out about in this book and make you a champion? Yeah, it's the town, it's the Bay Area, and it's it's my family, you know. Um, I don't necessarily feel like, what's the right way to say it? I don't know if you can somebody can give you something like that. Okay. Because I know cats that, you know, and I didn't been in nationals as a kid and kids. I grew up here. I'm in the projects. And they feel some heat and they turn. Yeah. And then I know some kids that from the Valley and they'll fight you to the death. Mm -hmm. You know, so I feel like it was innate in me and it was just uh, cultivated mm -hmm. where I grew up, cultivated what was already in me. Yeah. My father's teachings and the way he was. Like when I got knocked down from, you know, Kovalev the first time and I got up and I smiled, that was my daddy. That was your dad. That was Duke Ward. Mm -hmm. So it was in me. It just got cultivated and, 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 and built up even more just based on how I was raised, where I was raised, and who raised me. Duke was a mm -hmm. fighter himself, though. Yes, sir. You know, when you read this book, which is a, your book, man, I didn't know about your story like this. Yeah. Um, your father was the type that didn't back down from a fight, mm -hmm. right? Not at all. And, and, and even in the book, you said sometimes it'll make you a little apprehensive and nervous because you knew that at any given moment your father could snap. What was that like? It was interesting. You know, it was it was scary as a kid because, you know, it's, it's strange because my dad was literally the man that would give a, a jacket off. I've seen him do it mm -hmm. to a homeless person. Hey, man, take this. We'd be coming out of a restaurant. Hey, take this. Dad, why you giving me a jacket? Because I got another one. He doesn't have one. But just don't cross him. You know, just don't cross his babies. Mm -hmm. and he would just see a different side. And, and, and I'm thankful that I don't have that in me. Mm-hmm. Because we may be having some different conversations on the show. Y'all would have been reading about me on the bottom of the Sports Center ticket. Oh, damn. War did this, war did that. I'm thankful I can, I, you know, I could take that deep breath if I get mad or upset and think through my situation. My dad was then. He got better as he got older, but he had that temper, man. And yeah. he could fight, he could throw down. And then, as you read in the book, it was the whole biracial thing, too. Mm -hmm. My father was white. My mother was black. So, especially in the 90s, you look and people just stare. Yeah. And if they made a comment... It was on, and I don't care where we were at, it was going down. So if somebody talked up to you, said something up to your father about the kid, you being black, this little black boy. Yeah, what you doing with these black boys or, you know, just staring. You know, he wouldn't just take off immediately, but he, what you looking at? And if he didn't get, if, he, if it was a, a, a equally aggressive response, it's probably going to go up. In the grocery store, wherever. You witnessed this. Uh, many times. Wow. So how he would explain to you as a, a biracial kid about the world and, and and how to just cope with that? What would yeah. he say to you? He would tell me it was wrong, number one. He uh -huh. said, man, you know, nobody should be looking at you or commenting on nothing we got going on. This is our family, and the color of your skin doesn't matter in that respect. Like, uh -huh. they, you know, I'm your father, and, you know, you're my son, and people need to be okay with that. And if they're not, then that's on them. That's essentially how he would put it to me. And, I, you know, I didn't fully understand it because – it's times that I mean, I'm I'm viewed and have always been viewed as a as a young African American man, mm -hmm. period. Mm -hmm. And it's a surprise when people find out my father is white. But you got to deal with both sides. Sometimes growing up, you know, not in my family but in society, just the fact that, you know, the white side don't always embrace you because you're black, mm -hmm. and the black side got something to say because you got white in you. It was a lot trying to navigate that as a kid and you trying to find yourself. And, like, again, I'm looked at a certain way in society, but when I go home, my father's white. All my other friends, they fought, you know, their mom or dad or both are black. Mm -hmm. So that was, that was a lot to deal with growing up.